There are hundreds of decent task management tools and apps on the market for individuals and small businesses. However, many Google users are unaware of the built-in Google apps that can be leveraged for day-to-day -day task management activities. So today I'm going to dive in and share my top three task management apps and tools that are designed for Google users. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and launch into this task management guide for Google users, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that having out of the way, let's go ahead and identify the best task management app for your personal or business requirements. Okay, so what is the first method that you can use to manage your tasks with Google? Well, the first method is using a Google app called Google Keep. Now, if we navigate over to the right hand side, what you can do is get the add-on if you currently do not see Keep in your sidebar. Now, your sidebar you can expand or you can close down here. So what we're going to do is navigate up to Google Keep and click here. Now, in terms of managing your tasks, what you can do is navigate over to the right hand side and click on new list. And for example, let's navigate up here and type in sales tasks. Then down here, we can add our task items. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly add a bunch of items. Okay, so for example, I've added four tasks up here. Now I can navigate up to these three dots and click here and I can archive, delete or open up in Keep. As you can see, we're currently using Keep inside our Gmail account. Now you can use Keep either in a free Gmail or paid Google Workspace account. Let's go ahead and open in Keep and you can see your task items over here. We can also pin important notes up to the top by clicking this pin icon. And then we have other options down here. We can add a reminder, add collaborators, add background options, add an image, archive, and we have more options over here. Okay, so let's navigate up here and close this. And for example, let's go ahead and click on this item. And you can see that this item, this task has been completed. Now let's head back over to our Gmail inbox. And you can see over on the right hand side, we have one completed item. Let's go ahead and click on done. And you can see all our sales tasks over here. So this is a quick way that you can manage tasks from within your inbox or within the Keep app. Like I mentioned, you can open up the web version of Keep or you can manage your tasks and other items within the Keep app on your mobile device. Okay, so let's go ahead and close Keep. Now, if you wanna learn more about leveraging Keep and all of the different features that Keep has to offer when it comes to task and note management, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will dive deeper into Keep. Okay, so next on our list for better managing your tasks with Google is using Google Tasks. Again, this is another built-in Google app that you can find inside the sidebar of your Google Apps. As you can see, I'm still inside my Gmail inbox and over on the right-hand side, I have access to tasks. Now, if you have more extensive task requirements, you'll find that the task app is more effective than Google Keep. For example, you can see that I have this task list, client tasks, and I have these tasks down here. I can quickly go ahead and add a new task. I can add the title, details about this task, as well as a date and time. Now, I can also navigate down here and I can set this task to repeat. For example, if this task is a task that I do every week at a specific time and date, then I can set this task to repeat on a weekly or monthly basis. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK. Now, if I navigate up to my task list up here, I can come down and see all of my different task lists. I can also go ahead and create a new task list. For example, sales tasks, and then done. And then I can simply manage my sales tasks within this sales task list. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate up here and head back over to client tasks, and then mark this task as complete. You can see the notification down here, task completed, and then you can see all your tasks completed down here. Now, the Google Task app does not have a standalone web version. However, you can leverage Google Tasks on the mobile version, or you can navigate over to your Google Calendar. So let's go ahead and open up Google Calendar. And if we navigate down here, we can choose to view events as well as tasks on our calendar. I can also navigate up to create and I can create a task and I have the same options that I just showed you. We can add the title of the task. We can navigate down here and add a date and time and we can also repeat this task if we like. And then we can add a description and choose the specific task list. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Again, if you want to watch a more advanced tutorial on how you can leverage the Google Task app to better manage your day-to-day -day task, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. 
Okay, now the third way to manage your tasks with Google is using Google Sheets and Google Tasks together. And this is using a Google Sheets template that I created called Sheetify CRM. If you're interested in learning more about the Sheetify CRM, which allows you to manage your contacts, leads, sales tasks, client tasks, as well as email marketing activities, and more from one location, then I'll add more information down below in the description. This is a business toolkit that I created for small businesses. Okay, so in terms of task management, for example, if we navigate over to the right hand side, these are our sales based activities. Now again, what I can do is click on tasks and I can navigate up to sales tasks down here and I can choose to manage my tasks within this Google Sheets interface. For example, I can add the sales task associated to this contact across here, which is Edward. Then I can add the due date over here, which is going to be tomorrow. And then any task notes has not paid for three weeks. And now what I can do is click on this task and then navigate up to Sheetify, then Taskify, and then click on sales task. Now this is if I want to send this task from Google Sheets over to the Google task app. So all I need to do is click on sales task. And as you can see, the sales task has been added to the sales tasks list. And you can see the task name as well as who the task is associated to, which contact, and then notes about that task. And then when's it due? So again, this Google Sheets template that I created integrates directly with the Google task app. And again, you can manage these tasks on the go in the Google tasks mobile app. Okay, next, what we can also do is head over to client tasks. And once you've converted your contacts, your leads into a paying customer, you might have a specific job that you need to do for them. For example, install new flat roof. So you can see the client task is called installation two. This is the description of that client task. Then it's associated to, and we can select the individual here, the priority, the status, who that task is assigned to, the due date, for example, I'm gonna navigate across and click on tomorrow, and then we can add the time over here. Again, what I can do is click on this task, and then what I wanna do is locate my client tasks. Then all I need to do is click on Sheetify, Taskify, and then client task. And just like that, the client tasks has been added to the client task list up here. So again, you can use this Sheetify CRM Google Sheets template to manage your sales tasks as well as your client tasks from either inside your Google Sheet or you can send those tasks directly into the Google Tasks app. Again, if you wanna learn more about my Sheetify CRM that I built for small businesses, I will add a tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this guide, showing you how you can better manage your tasks using three methods for Google users. And there we have it guys, that is it for this task management app guide for Google users. Now if you have any questions about each of these task management tools, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.